Hey there, Virgos. Happy birthday. If I haven't said happy birthday to you guys yet, happy birthday. I hope you're all having a great birthday and a great Virgo season. This is your love reading for September 2018. So let's check it out. We're going to do singles and couples. Remember that this is general energy, so this may or may not resonate with everyone. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Okay, so we're going to start with the singles first, couples afterwards. Well, and if you kind of fall into both because you're in between, you can watch both the entire reading. Some of my readings have been coming out where it just kind of all blends in together. So let's see what's going on for my straight up single Virgos. Straight up single, not dating anyone, nothing going on. Maybe you're interested in someone, someone's interested in you, but nothing seems to be moving forward. Let's get to the bottom of this. Come on. Straight up single Virgo, September 2018. What do we have going on for their love life? Let's see. Straight up single Virgos. Here we go. <laughs> Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Maybe that's why you're straight up single. You want to plan everything out to a T. You got your list of things that need to be said, done, met before you can enter a relationship. Unrequited love. Okay, so you find yourself single, but still kind of still kind of hooked on someone from the past, perhaps someone from the present moment. But it's just not working out. For some of you, yes, there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this going. For others of you, I feel as though it's a timing issue. And so it feels like it's unrequited love. And almost like a karmic relationship. Because I feel as though every time you two try to get together, it doesn't work out. And so you find yourself single again. But at the same time, you want to push the envelope here. You want to keep going. You want to do things your way. Like I feel like there are some stubborn Virgos here that just can't let go of the situation because things aren't working out. And you're just like, I don't get it. Why, why, why can't we come together? Why have we had a hard time coming together? But you need to let go of those control issues. You need to wait for the divine timing when, when the timing is right. Everything falls into place naturally. So keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. I feel as though you are still trying to manipulate a situation. I don't mean manipulate in a bad way, okay? I mean as, as though you're still trying to, well, control it. You're still trying to make things work with this person. I feel as though it could be someone from your past. However, they're still in the picture because they come and go. Some of you have opposite schedules. Some of you live far from each other. I don't know why I get the feeling of you're just not accepting the situation for what it is. You're dead set on making it work with this person. However, they might not be the one for you. And so the lesson here is to let go of control issues. This isn't working out because it's not supposed to work out. And if it is supposed to work out with this partner, with this person, the timing isn't right for you to come together. You could potentially destroy your future if you force something to happen now. So you need to allow the situation to unfold naturally. Understand that if this is meant to be, it will be. And if it's not, for some of you, it's not. You may have a strong connection to them and you maybe can't understand, you can't wrap your mind around, why the heck is he not the one for me? Why the heck is she not the one for me? She's perfect, he's perfect. We get along so great. It's just, if it's not working out, you're trying to force it to work out. But a relationship that you should be in shouldn't be forced in that way. It goes against nature. It goes against the flow. So keep an open mind. This, for some of you, this isn't the one for you and you've been hung up on them for some time. 
So you may or may not already know the person that you're supposed to be with and you haven't noticed them because you've been hung up on this one. This, this particular soulmate didn't grab your attention. Why? Because they're different from the usual type of person that you're used to connecting with. I may need to pause for a minute here. I can hear my garbage people outside my window. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. I'm going to try to keep this going. I may have to edit it out. Okay, here we go. So, you're hung up on this particular situation, person, you know, relationship, present or past. I feel as though you feel as though you're moving on. You're okay being single, but you can't seem to let go that this didn't work out the way you had anticipated it, the way you had planned on. But you need to allow it to unfold naturally. Maybe this is never meant to work out, or maybe this is meant to work out in a year, two years, five years, or two months. You need to keep an open mind. For some of you, I also feel that this unrequited love, you're not paying attention to this person who is hung up on you because they don't seem like the type. Like you're feeling like, ew, no, I'm not into that person or... No, they're nice. They're cool, but no, but no. But I bet it if I bet if you gave it a chance and you realize that there is a stronger connection here that than you were thinking, this person's probably been hung up on you for quite some time. But you're trying to make something else work and you're not trying to make this work. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. This is where I will pause as I could hear the big vehicle. So sorry, guys. Okay, here we go. Bye-bye, garbage men. <laughs> so, let go of control issues. What is going on with Virgo singles and their control issues? allow the situation to unfold naturally why is this card here i got three cards that flipped over and one that flew out i don't generally take more than two to three cards but i will show them to you because they're quite interesting you ready this one flew out nine of cups wish fulfillment trying to make your wishes come true right with the fool, the lovers, and the judgment card. <laughs> Are you serious? Exactly what I just said here. You're trying to make something work from the past. You're trying to have a new beginning with someone from your past. You want to do over. That's your wish. That is your wish. So let's see. Let's go back here. Let go of control issues. Talk to me about Virgo singles and this control issues. What do they need to let go? Queen of Wands. For some of you, you need to let go of this idea that you had of, no, for me to be in a relationship, it has to work out in this specific pattern, like a connect the dots type thing. I don't know why that came to mind. Knight of Wands. So a lot of passionate energy between you and this unrequited love. So again, for some of you, because I feel this strongly, probably for most of you, it's not that there wasn't enough attraction or chemistry with this relationship. Because I do feel a strong and passionate energy between you. But what I feel is that the timing just isn't right. And so it feels like unrequited love. Like it's never going to work out. We're just going to be friends. And you've been single and you're like trying to move on and trying to do this and that and date other people and maybe they are too. But you seem to always go back to this unrequited love that didn't work out. And there's the fool again. One more card for let go of control issues, please. What do they need to let go of? So again, if this person, if this person 
in the unrequited love relationship or partnership was somewhat of a player who may have told you from the beginning that who may have told you from the beginning that they didn't want anything serious but then you still felt like no I'm a queen he's a knight You've got all this passionate, fiery energy. He's this knight of wands that comes and goes, that likes to do whatever they want, right? They come and go. They could be emotionally unavailable. Fear of commitment. This could be you. Remember, this is general reading, so some of these energies can be reversed. Apply it to your situation, but don't force it. But you're like, no, I'm a queen here. I know what I bring to the table. I know what I've got to offer. And this Queen of Wands, she's very detailed in her, in the way that she portrays herself. She is like the spitfire. She's very passionate about how she does things, whether you have fire in your chart or you're just feeling this now that Mar Mars has gone direct, right? You're like, no, I'm a queen and I deserve to be someone's queen. You've been fooling around being this knight of wands, coming and going when you freaking feel like it, right? I want a new beginning. And then comes in that knight of pentacles. But Virgos, I don't feel that this is you as the knight of pentacles. I feel another earth sign coming in. But like I said, knight of pentacles, I said that big butt in between. Knight of pentacles, they, they're slow as fuck. Be patient. Let go of control issues and allow this to unfold naturally because that Knight of Pentacles is coming in. Another Virgo, perhaps, Taurus or Capricorn. They will come in a little slowly, but they'll come in. So here we go with the unrequited love. And I feel that as just as that Knight of Pentacles comes in, Mr. Unrequited Love or Miss Unrequited Love comes back in. That's what I got right now. They'll come back in. Let's see. Unrequited love. Tell me about this unrequited love for Virgo. Clarify the unrequited love. I don't feel like any bad feelings in this unrequited love. I just really feel for most of you, it's a timing issue. For some of you, you've got people that have been admiring you. And you're just like, oh, ha, ha, hi. Hi, no, let me walk away. And you like take a few steps backwards, you know, because you're hung up on someone else and you're not paying attention to the one that's like super into you. You've got an audience here. Everyone sees that someone is into you. Maybe you've got three or four people that are into you. Right. And you're just not seeing it. You're not seeing it, but you need to keep an open mind. You may be hung up on the wrong one, on the wrong person. Let's clarify the sun requited love. Who is the sun requited love with? We've got a juggler. <laughs> Someone who's busy juggling two jobs, two relationships. You're not the only one. That's why the unrequited love is there. They're not ready to let go of their other options. And you're done playing around with that shit. You're like, nah. I'm willing to cut my losses here. Unrequited love. Tell me about this unrequited love. A few too many cards. Not good when I see the seven of swords. So you know this person, even if you force it to get back together or to get make something out of this, there's still going to be some sneakiness, some shadiness. You're not getting the whole story. They will continue to juggle. Two jobs two relationships they may give you the majority of you of their time but they've still got other options that they're entertaining i'm not going to say they're messing around with them but you know texting flirting whatever it may be absolutely three of cups in reverse it's unrequited love because this person whether you or them can't stop being with someone else that five of swords 
it's almost as though if they do come in and you make this work, remember I said this, it's like they're just going to give you what you want just to keep you there, but they'll continue to juggle other options. This will turn into a third party situation, whether that's you or them. So let go of control issues. Allow things to unfold naturally. Wait for this Knight of Pentacles. Don't be so impatient. That Knight of Pentacles will eventually, you know, gain the traction they need to come in. They're on that slow train, right? That's what I call my Knight of Pentacles, slow train. Really, really think about whether or not you want to continue to try to figure something out or work something out with this unrequited love because the feeling I get here is that they'll just leave you hanging. You may get them temporarily. They'll appease you. They'll continue entertaining other options. They're going to do whatever they want to do. Whatever suits their needs, not yours. Because it doesn't become a partnership. And so we have keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Who is this? Well, for some of you, it's a Libra or a Capricorn. Right? We have the Justice card and the Devil card. So keep an open mind. This person may in fact come off as like a little do-gooder. Very ethical, moral, goody two-shoes. Sounds like another Virgo maybe. But inside, they've got a lot... They've got a lot of fiery energy. Just be careful that they may have some codependency issues that they're dealing with. Again, this might be a Libra or a Capricorn. You have the Knight of Pentacles that comes in. He may, as, he may be that Capricorn who's probably in a much more stable situation and can offer you the stable situation, stable home life that you've been wanting that this other person in the unrequited love hasn't been able to offer you. Queen of Swords energy. You are not afraid to speak your mind when it comes to this situation. At the same time, I do feel that you may have a friend, a family member, someone that that is close to you and understands what you went through here. So when this comes in, you're like, wait a minute. Let's get to the realness here. Who is this person that you're getting involved with? He may have a little bit of a dark side to him. But if it's a Capricorn with that Ten of Pentacles, he may have... He may, ha he, you know, he may have a legal job, job in the legal system, government job, but I also feel as though he's probably a workaholic. And that could be, that could be what he feels bound to, right? He can't help himself but to be a workaholic or she. Well, Virgos tend to be workaholics as well. So let's see, Queen of Swords, do I have any more cards for my... Virgo, singles. I don't have any more cards, but that Ten of Cups did peek out. Okay, no more cards are coming out. So that's your reading, Virgo singles. Let go of control issues. If this is an unrequited love issue, something that you've been trying to force to make happen, it's not the right time. It's not the right person. Keep an open mind. You do have someone coming in, someone with earth in their chart or someone who's very financially balanced. However, they're a little bit of a workaholic. They're financially balanced because they probably spend the majority of their free time working like crazy. If you ignore this one that comes in, who's much more stable financially, financially and physically, emotionally, I feel it. And you entertain this unrequited love because they decide to give you another chance and you think that, oh, we're going to work things out this time. It's for real. This time it's going to work out. No, they're still juggling other options. They get closer to you to keep you closer, but just so that they don't lose you to someone else because that three of cups there tells me they're just going to consistently keep you hanging they give you just enough to keep you around, Virgo. 
Do you want that? Do you want to be one of those two pentacles that they're juggling? Do you want to be one of those three of cups? Right? So really decide if this is what you want between the two of you. That was your reading for single Virgos. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm going to work on the couples now. I'm going to read the couples next. If this applies to you or you in-betweeners, you want to see where this continues, stay tuned. If not, <clears throat> then please like, share, comment, subscribe. Let me know if this resonates with you at all. Thank you so much for all of you who have uh, sent me messages and birthday wishes. Again, I want to wish you single Virgos a very happy birthday. For personal readings, you can find my information in the description box below. Let's get started with Virgo couples. Virgo couples, married couples, committed couples, living together, dating and trying to make it more. And some of you in-betweeners, maybe you just started seeing someone, so you're not like completely, totally single, right? But you're dating someone. Where do we go from here? Let's see. Virgo couples, September 2018. You deserve love. You are lovable. Duh, right, Virgo? <laughs> Love yourself first. Okay, your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. See, this is another reading where I'm feeling like the singles kind of blends in with the couples. If you just started watching from here in the couple section, I would advise you, there you go, flirt. I would advise you to check out the singles as well. Because I feel that some of you singles that I've been going back and forth with this unrequited love situation may be a toxic relationship, control issues, codependency. Someone may have some narcissistic tendencies here. Not saying you, Virgo. Could be you, could be the other person. But that was the type of energy I was feeling. And so if this is you trying to entertain this unrequited love, trying to make it work, trying to turn it into a couple dumb, you deserve love. Because the singles got the three of cups in reverse with the two of pentacles, balancing some cheating, right? The sun card peaked out. Love yourself first. Because you deserve love. You set the standard for how someone loves you, how someone treats you. Extend your lighthearted energy to others when you flirt. Okay, so let's get to it. Virgo couple, September 2018. Let's clarify the you deserve love. star card okay if this is you from my singles reading who's been thinking about entertaining unrequited love it leaves you pained it leaves you saddened a need for healing because I felt as though it was emotionally draining and abusive You deserve love. Heal yourself from this type of behavior that you allowed. You can put a stop to it. You can change it. You will find hope within yourself to be able to move forward. When you love yourself first, you deserve love. Knight of Cups comes in to tell you that. And maybe you need to just offer that cup of love to yourself before you even think of offering it to anyone else or before you even accept someone else's cup of love. Two of swords, stagnant energy here. If you have just been going every day, day to day, just living, not truly being happy and enjoying life for what it is, you felt some stagnant energy. Look at that. You may be dealing with a Scorpio. The death card on the Knight of Cups. There's a lot of water here. Water, water, water. 
Okay, some of you Virgo couples are dealing with some serious heartache. You're probably still in a relationship trying to still figure things out, trying to work things out, but it's painful. Why are you still in a painful relationship? Love yourself first. Stop trying to make them happy. It slows you down. You want that sun card. You want that feeling of lightheartedness, of warmth, of happiness. You want to change everything around, like a, do a complete 180. You've got to love yourself first because you deserve love. You deserve healing. You deserve hope and happiness. And if you don't love yourself first, you continue to entertain this stagnant energy. Yeah. With the five of wands, it's almost as though you've been feeling as though you've had to almost fight for the little bit of love you're getting. Now, remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate with everyone. So some of you are in some very amazing, very amazing, fulfilling relationships. This is not for you. This will not resonate for you unless and probably until I get to this flirt card. <laughs> but for those of you that have been going through some heartache, that have been healing from something. Yeah. So, okay. This heartache, it's brought in some major self-doubt. Almost as though as you need to spy on this person. You need to keep tabs on them. I don't think you've realized that that's not healthy for you or to be in a relationship that way. And the more you feel consumed by keeping tabs on what is going on with this partner, wondering if they're cheating on you, wondering if they're lying to you, wondering if, you know, if, if this is something that should continue, you need to stop. Get out of the stagnant energy. Take the blinders off because you know what's going on. But it's time for you to love yourself first. Be the person who should be love yourself the way that person that you want to be with should love you. Cut out the bullshit. Drop the bad habits, the bad people. Just don't let them take up such so much mental space. Don't let them cut you down. You deserve love. Remember that. Especially with the love yourself first, you're obviously feeling very broken down by whatever has gone on in this relationships. Love yourself first. King of Pentacles. This may be you, Virgo, or this may be a Capricorn or a Taurus coming in for you who's going to show you, hey, I see you. You've been through some shit. When are you going to start taking care of yourself? Again, if you've been dealing with a Scorpio who's hurt you, the Tower card, the Death card, the Page of Cups, Scorpio was that page or night the knight of cups yeah that knight of cups is going to come in and say hey you're awesome and amazing I don't think they're ready for that change that you've been trying to do and if you go back to codependency relationships codependency issues within this relationship and you're giving more love than you're receiving there is no equal give and take then all that will happen is that everything will come crumbling down but you want to stay in this king of pentacles energy you want to stay in balance you don't want your world to come upside down it's the last thing you need but love yourself first self-respect self-worth self-love self-care virgo it goes a long way you know why? Because the minute you honor yourself, you are opening your eyes to when someone doesn't honor you. And when that happens, it becomes easier for you to pump your brakes and say, hold up, homeboy. Hang on, lover. What are you doing? That is not okay with me. Slow your roll. Things got to change around here right so love yourself first if you don't shit comes falling down falling apart not going to work out not going to happen yeah too much fighting with that five of swords energy so okay the ace of pentacles in reverse six of wands and four of pentacles also came out so look Love yourself first. If you've got to cut people out 
so that they that, that so that the disrespect and the constant ridicule and pain that you've been going through this heartache it feels heavy for some of you Virgo couples <sighs> jumping out of a fire building almost sounds better than what you've been going through it's time to cut out the bullshit it's time to move forward love yourself first one more card okay so now the ace of pentacles flipped over right side up You have positive new beginnings coming in. You have an opportunity to create a new home, a new job, a new career, going back to school. This is something that you've probably put off for some time because you've been in a codependent relationship that has brought you nothing but pain and heartache, self-doubt. And it's taken quite some time to break free from it. But I see you guys gaining the balance, the traction that you need to keep it moving forward. And now, now that this tower comes in and just drops everything, brings everything down, it actually catapults you towards that new beginning that you've kind of been, I don't want to say afraid, but hesitant to start. Because I don't think you were quite ready to leave that relationship or that partnership just yet. Move forward on a path of loving yourself, of respecting yourself. And remember, remind yourself, consistently remind yourself that you deserve love. And ask yourself, am I receiving love? Am I in a loving situation, in a loving relationship, in a job that I love, in a home that I love, in a you know, marriage, partnership, whatever it may be. Love yourself first. Set up boundaries. Make sure people respect them. Let's get down to this flirt card because like I said earlier, some of you may be in like a great relationship where none of this stuff really applies to you. And for those of you that are in a great relationship but are feeling somewhat disconnected from your partners, love yourself first and remember you deserve love. Sometimes the day-to-day -day gets us bogged down. Look at that. I love it. The sun and the lover's card with a flirt. Didn't I just say some of you guys are in like super awesome relationships? That lover's card and the sun card says you are, <laughs> right? Yes, financial stability, ho happy home front. Look at you, queen of pentacles, Virgo. Yes, hello. Now that's what I'm talking about, right? The sun card and the lover's card. You're flirting with this partner. You're getting to know one another. You're making a home for yourself, a life for yourself. Comes with this nice, big, warm sun. I love it. And again, what did I get earlier is that there's this may be a Capricorn that comes in for you with the devil card. Just be careful of codependency issues, I get, I, I what I'm feeling because it came out earlier with the Ten of Pentacles is that it's mostly like a workaholic issue. Like you find your match, you've got your partner, you love this person so much, you're with them, you want to make a life together, right? They balance you, they make you feel whole, they treat you like the queen that you are. But damn it, if they don't work so much, right? And you're just like, um, do I have to compete with your job? <laughs> How do I get to spend more time with you? Thank you for providing. Thank you for making me happy. Thank you for making time for me. For others of you, just be careful that it's not a gambling issue, right? But I do feel as though... With the sun and the lovers, ten of pentacles, the queen of pentacles. Wow. So amazing for some of you coupled up Virgos. You may be with another earth sign, which is why I see so many pentacles here. And so that's your reading, coupled up Virgos in a relationship, dating. If you like this reading or resonated with you, please make sure you like 
share and subscribe leave a comment below if you'd like a personal reading you can find my information in the description box below i want to wish all of you virgos a happy birthday if you have not checked out my channel i've got a year ahead virgo reading for all my birthday virgos out there who can get an energy reading for the year ahead for themselves okay so you've got monthly energies from now until next august until your next solar return there are also several other readings so make sure that you click the bell so that you get notified when i upload and when i go live because i will start going live here also on that note uh you can find me on instagram at virgo angel tarot on instagram.com where i do post daily and i do weekly live readings so yeah virgo couples you've got some stuff to work out if this is part of the singles that kind of float into here trying to make this unrequited love relationship work out love yourself first you deserve love and some of you flirting with your partners in a good place with that sun card yes take a little break a little weekend getaway love yourselves make time for each other appreciate each other right this has been your love reading make sure you please like share and subscribe talk to you guys later bye